Today on the TechSource.tv. OCZ implementing the next Sand Force control. NVIDIA releases its new mid range card, the GTX 560 Ti. Um, also, AMD is trying to compete with their uh, 6950 and 6970 1 gigabyte versions. A bit of a sad day for me. Uh, OCZ has stopped producing RAM. I used to really like OCZ RAM, and yes, I realize this is going to give me a lot of hate. Little story for our American viewers today. Um, if you're considering getting an iPhone from Verizon or AT&T, we've got some tips for you. Stick around, guys. This is the TechSource.tv. Also, we are now having our first contest of 2011. And the usual prize is the Kingston 8GB flash drive. Now, this contest is a bit different from all the others. It's, it's a, a guess the product contest. And we think it's interesting because... We want you guys to tell us what this card is. Now, I'll give you a little hint. This card did go to retail in the 90s, and it did, this is an engineering sample of the card that did go to retail. So this, this specific one never actually did get sold. So if you guys can tell us what this card is, you'll win the flash drive. Now, the rules are very simple. Um, as with all of our contests, in your comment you must have the word CONTEST somewhere in it, just C-O-N-T-E-S-T. -E um, you must be subscribed to the text source and you must, you know, along with the word CONTEST, you must post uh, what card do you think it is. And, you know, whatever else you want to post. Something funny, tell us something cool, whatever. Simple rules, guys. Good luck. January 14th, 2011. Now we're having a bit of a retro day today. Check out this old motherboard. <laughs> Jesus. It's trying to kill me. So solid state drives have really picked up over the past couple of years. Now it's a really new technology um, to the consumer market. You know, so I have a, one of the very first generation flat um, solid state drives. And this is by a Patriot. It's a 32 gigabyte. It's not very big. It's SATA 2. So it's relatively quick for read. Now for write, it blows chunks. It sucks. It has no cache. It doesn't have trim. It's, oh, it's garbage. Basically, you'll be using it. All of a sudden, pfft, your whole computer craps out for a couple of seconds. Then it picks up again. It's, you know, it's good to go. Um, it sucks. You can't really install Windows on it. 32 gigs is just not enough space. So, um, one day, Dave's like, I want to borrow it because I want to try a solid state. I'm like, okay, Dave, here you go. Get rid of my piece of crap. <laughs> so, what was your experience? <laughs> well, I was curious as to why you let it go so easily. And then uh, I put it in one of my services, the boot drive, and then I experienced why you let it go. <laughs> and at which point, I immediately gave it back. Yeah. And I also tried selling it on GG, and it just did not work. The thing, like, you can't do any more than one operation in a second. It's, say you were... Um, downloading a file in Firefox, if you try and copy a file off of it, the entire thing just grinds to a halt. Yeah. Well, that was the problem about first generation solid states. Now the Intel Lynx controller came around, and now we have the Sandforce controllers, which made huge improvements as well also with trim, and, you know, we're seeing big improvements on solid state drives, along with, you know, the PCI Express ones, which are probably, I personally, I think, are the best ones, because they're just ridiculously fast. Now, OCZ is going to be the Pretty much, they're pretty much the leader right now in them. They're always coming out with the fastest ones. And um, they're coming out with SATA 6 gigs. And um, they're going to read up to like 550 megs a second and write at 525 megs a second with these new Sandforce and SATA 6 gig controllers. That's ridiculous. Now that's leaps and bounds over this first generation crappy one that sucked ass. And um, they also got a new uh, one with us. It's a PCI Express 8X interface. That's really fast too. They also got their uh, actual proprietary um, controller, and it's a three and a half inch one. Those ones are like retardedly fast as well, and they're coming out with a whole HLD or yeah. HLSD or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's also it's a totally new controller. It look it's it's really cool though, and they're really fast. Um, the only problem in is they're quite expensive for these uh, ones that have really high capacities, and especially for the PCI Express ones and that uh, OCZ uh, very specific OCZ one. I know the OCZ uh, Revo drives, the 120s are about 250, 300-ish. Yeah. I know I looked into the 240 gig, and that's 600 
plus. Yeah, they're really expensive, but um, they're definitely worth the performance if you're willing to pay. Um, but you know what? Give them a couple of years. I'm waiting for the technology to really settle down, like the way the hard drives have. Now it's just a space, a space war, and who can really build more space. But um, until that happens, and until the prices come down, I'm probably not going to buy one for a while. Hey, Danny. What's up? So I heard Nvidia is coming out with a new GTX 560 Ti. Why don't you tell me a bit about that? Well, it got leaked uh, with the newest Nvidia drivers. Um, that's how a lot of people found out about it. It's supposed to come out January 25th. It's going to have a 256-bit um, uh, bus on the memory. Now, um, that's nothing. That's peanuts compared to this card. This has got a 64-bit bus. Now, come on. 64 whole bits? Yeah, this is way faster, man. Come on. Look at this. Whoa! Look at that. Is that two interfaces? Yeah, and it doesn't even need power, and it's a single slot. This is so much faster. No heat sinks. Well, look at that. One VGA. You could totally do iFinity with that. Pfft, totally, man. 3D? No problem. Let's get this card out of the shot now. All right. Yeah. You know. We don't want our viewers getting too good of a look at it. Yeah. Anyway. So, this card is um, supposed to be coming out really soon. It's going to be a mid-range card, just like the 460. Um, it should be priced really well, um, similar to the 460. The 460 will probably go down in price once this card comes out. Um, also, ATI is going to fight this back with uh, making 1 gig versions of their uh, ATI 6950 and 6970s. Now, this is the question that brings to me, if they make cheaper versions of those cards, what about the... 6870 and 6850s. That's kind of odd. Hey, Danny. What's up? Well, dude, I've got a plan. What's that plan? Well, there is a sale on at a local computer store. I'm going to go pick up myself some OCZ RAM. Actually, you probably wouldn't be able to find any OCZ RAM soon. What do you mean, man? The OCZ makes a ton of RAM. They're huge. Uh, no. As of this year, they are stopping making RAM and focusing on SSDs. What? Get out of here, dude. Yeah, they are. Um, I, apparently they're not doing that successful with RAM, or they just said that they want to focus on the SSD market. Because, well, they're doing a really good job at it. They're coming out with a lot of innovative products, and they're coming out with, you know, PCI cards. They're coming out with their own, like, special controller. They're coming out with C6 gig things, and tons of cool products are coming out with SSDs, and you know, I think just RAM is just not their focus anymore. Even though, yes, the company was based off of RAM, but now they're moving their focus over to SSDs. So, it's pretty cool, and it sucks a little bit, but um, a lot of people don't like it. OCZ RAM, but um, it might make some people happy, it might make some people sad, like Dave, but... I built, I've, all my systems I've built with OCZ RAM. People can say whatever they want, but it works, it works perfect for me, never had an issue. Yeah, I've used OCZ RAM. It just doesn't overclock that well. It doesn't like to be overclocked, actually, at all. Which isn't a problem for me. I don't overclock RAM. There's no point. Yeah. So, are you looking for to upgrade to an iPhone? And you live in the U.S., and, well, you can only get it on AT&T? Well, Verizon has you covered. Now, if you have a Verizon plan and you're looking for an upgrade, well, you can get one on Verizon. Now, what does that mean in differences of phones? They're exactly the same. One CDMA, one's GSM. Difference? doesn't have a SIM card. A CDMA is a different technology for cell phones. Uh, it's slightly different, so there's, you can't, it's a bit harder to change cell phones because there's no SIM card. Basically, with a SIM card phone on GSM, you, know, you just pull the SIM card out, you pop it in the new phone, boom, your new phone works. Um, with the GSM, with the CDMA phone, I mean, um, you have to go to your provider, tell them, okay, I want to switch phones. It's a bit of work. Um, TELUS used to use CDMA, and they still do today. Um, that's in Canada. And it was a bit of work for me to change phones. It was $10 just to change the phone, and um, then they just swapped it over. But um, basically, they're the same phone. Um, the networks, from what I'm reading, the same thing. A lot of people are just saying, oh, at and is better, Verizon is better. Well, I really don't care. I don't live there. And, you know, if you guys have personal preference, buy what you want now. Now you can get them on both networks. So that's great. Now there's more competition. Or... Something else just to add on to this, guys. Um, if you still can't decide who will give you a better deal, I'll give you a bit of Dave advice. Um, this is what I do. is I would call both the companies, see what deal they can give you, and then call them back again and tell them of each other's deals and see what if they can match it, if they can get it better. See what deal they can give you, and in, in the case you don't care which one you go with, go with whoever gives you the better price. Yep, that works. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching today. Now, just want to remind you about our contest we have going on, and um, it's probably going to be going on for two weeks because it's a little bit of a trickier one. Um, it's an 8GB Kingston flash drive you can win. Uh, we'll be shipping it out to you, uh, just regular mail. And um, so, the rules are simple. Be subscribed. Comment on this video. In your comment, you must say, contest in the word. Um, and you also must guess what this is. We've gave one hint, and also we've shown you it three times, including now. Guess what this is? It was from the 90s, um, and it's a pretty unique product. It's an engineering sample, but the retail product looks almost identical to that, minus a couple of trace wires we got on this one, because this was uh, made here in Canada. It's got a nice stamping on the back right there. So that's something rare to see. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I found this in my basement, and yeah, because uh, someone I go used to work there. And yeah, remember to uh, like us on Facebook, join our Steam group because you can game with us, and go to the techsource.tv. You know, make a, make an account, sign up, post some comments. We're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to update it and post more news and things like that on it daily. So Dave, hey guys, as usual, remember to rate thumbs up that one right there. And Danny, what is it? Uh, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. That's right. Subscribe, guys. So we'll see you guys next time. Remember our contest. And have a good one. And also, I also want to say, you guys are awesome, each and every one of you. And you're probably sitting there thinking, oh, is he talking about me? Yes, you. I am talking about you. You are awesome. So, stick around, guys. See you guys next week.